So I'm Callan, I'm uh, the team leader for Monash High Powered Rocketry. Uh, I'm studying engineering and science, majoring in mechatronics, astrophysics and mathematics. So Monash High Powered Rocketry is a student team um, with a mostly undergraduate students but we also have some masters and PhD students um, from across all the engineering faculties, um, some science as well. Hey, my name is Ethan Boy. Um, I'm a fifth year mechanical engineering and commerce student and I'm the Project Aether technical lead for Monash HPR. So Project Aether is our flagship rocket flying up to 30,000 feet in the Australian Union's Rocket Challenge. Monash HPR started up around April 2018. Uh, initially just a small design project with about eight students and then it expanded slowly to about 45 or so and now to upwards of 70, 80 members. Joining our team is a really good experience for all the students. Um, they get a lot of hands-on knowledge about building aerostructural frames, um, a lot of coding experience, um, FEA, uh, CFD, so a lot of um, computer analysis on forces and fluid dynamics. Um, there's also a whole lot of experience for our business team for running all our finances and social media. Um, but also the scientific aspect, we have um, a team of students uh, running their own research and doing their own sort of scientific experiments on board the rockets. All of our students have really good relations with the industry uh, and good contacts um, are built through our industry events. After a whole year's worth of hard work, we finally went up to the Australian Union's Rocket Challenge up in Funny Farm, Queensland, and taking Hyperion and Athena, we came in second place and fourth place. We're competing in two competitions this year, uh, AURC and Spaceport America Cup. So specifically for AURC, we're competing to get as close as possible to 10,000 and 30,000 feet. That's about 9.1 kilometres. We're flying at Spaceport America Cup later this year in July. So we're taking uh, Project Icarus up with us and they'll be flying in the 10,000 foot uh, off the shelf category. I'm Nicole and I'm an Aerostructures team member. Well, I was never intending on joining HPR in the first place. I was intending on just doing my degree and then getting out of uni and then I was thinking this looks actually quite fun so maybe I should give it a go. And then I found that it was so much fun. It made my uni life just so much better. All of a sudden it was no longer just come to class, go home, do my homework. It was like I was a part of a team. I was doing something more interesting. I was coming to uni events. I was meeting new people. All of a sudden, every lecture I went to, there was someone there that I knew. My name is Madison and I study chemical engineering at Monash University and I'm a propulsion engineer at Monash HPR. I design rocket engines for the team, which involves a lot of electrical design, chemistry, and a lot of aerospace engineering. I've had a really incredible uh, opportunity to be able to branch out into other aspects of engineering. As a chemical engineer, a lot of my responsibilities through study really look at uh, large process systems and wide overview of design. But through Monash HPR, I get to design many small subsystems and that include electrical and mechanical components, which is really, it's an awesome thing to do as a chemical engineer. I've learned how to use CAD software, how to interact with my other engineers, which is a really important thing. You always work on a team. Some of the work with HPR is extremely relevant to industry. We have people on the propulsion team that are currently doing internships with real space agencies, and especially our stuff with combustion chamber modelling is very unique and there's very little literature out there. It benefits engineering students because you get to go out there and actually design something that's extreme. At Monash HPR, we're actually pushing the boundaries of what you can do as a hobbyist, especially with propulsion. Some of our stuff is genuinely original research. So it's amazing as a second year engineer to be able to do that.